Welcome. Today's question, what is the Linux environment? I'm Paul, and as we transition from visual interfaces like Windows and Mac to Linux and the command line, we need to know how to access what's going on behind the scenes. So here we'll explore the environment, which is basically a place where commands find your custom settings. We'll discuss the two parts of the environment and how to view and add variables. Then we'll practice changing variables before heading to our final video in Project 2, setting the configuration for our easiest to learn text editor, Nano. Let's access the Linux command line on a local Debian test server that sits in my office just down the coast from Silicon Valley. The way we normally start is by using what is to define commands we'll use during the video, so pause here if that helps. And I'll expand on this later, but please note set and export are built-ins and don't have their own man pages, thus no what is entry here. A good way to think of the environment is as a bunch of variables easily accessed by system memory. And let's cover the two parts of the environment, starting with the easier one, shell variables, and then environment variables. Our on our Linux operating system, we use the shell program Bash. There are others, but Bash is the most common and the default with most Linux distributions. I bring this up because Bash has its own variables. The command printenv is used to view them individually, like my home directory, or all together without options and arguments, and there they are. Granted, many are beyond our scope here as beginners, but we should be able to decipher a few. Shift page up and shell here points to our shell program bash. Here's the user Paul, then shift page down and PWD is the current working directory. LS underscore colors sets colors depending on the file type and context when you use the LS command. So looking at the 135 programs in the system's bin directory, we can see colors by file type. Oh, and hold on to that thought because we'll do something similar in the next video with the text editor Nano, making it more appealing. Let's move on to environment variables, and to view those, we'll use the set command without options or arguments and pipe it into less because the output is so long. So environment, environment variables encompass both the shell variables we just covered, plus a whole lot more, including the advanced shell functions that you see here, and the list goes on and on and on. Okay, so set is a built-in and we covered finding help on built-ins in video 15 by using the man page for bash and because it's 5,000 lines long type 3440g to zoom to the section on built-ins for help okay quickly let's look at the command export it's another built-in and is used to pass variables to other shell processes and Let's create a new variable and assign to it my second favorite word in the English language. And with echo, it works, but will it work if we use printenv? No, because we need to export the variable to make it available for other bash processes, as you can see here. So the next uh, command is echo, and it is useful for displaying both text and variables, but to echo variables, you need to use the dollar sign. And as a summary to see how well you've been listening, see if you can follow the logic here for how echo works with variables while I'm coding up a little five-part command using a variable. Okay, and then next we'll look at our software stack and it's early in our journey we have one more video until we finish this project then we'll hit the software layer and play with python and math before that we'll discuss text editors and configure nano have a nice day